What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about Diablo 4, specifically a real money auction house. Apparently, a lot of people are requesting to have a real money auction house in the game like they did for Diablo 3. Now, if you don't know, when Diablo 3 launched, the vanilla version, it absolutely had a real money auction house. That's how I started playing Diablo 3. When I first started playing, we had a real money auction house. And people legitimately, legitimately made a lot of money off of it. I spent a little bit of money on it, but you didn't always have to spend money because if you found a good item, you could also trade it for money, right? So you didn't actually have to use real money. You could just trade your stuff for real money. You know how it is. And it goes around the currency. But um, the thing is, that, you know, there's two sides of the, the coin on this one. On one hand, is it all that bad, you know, because it's capitalist and you give people what they want. And, you know, I would say that goes. I would say you give people what they want because otherwise they'll find a way around it. Capitalism always wins in the end. That's why you can't ban things. That's why you can't have a black market. You can never ban real money trading in a game. You can never fully ban it. It's always gonna find find a way to manifest itself, right? So that's the thing, unless you get rid of all trading completely. That's the thing, you have D2JSP, right? And you could trade in their currency and that's sort of like the same thing as if Diablo 4 had a real money auction house built in. So we're still going to JSP and trading stuff for real money anyway, right? You're still going on JSP and basically using their version of a, a in-game currency, their version of a fiat currency, right? You trade dollars in kind of like casino chips. You could think of it like a casino, right? You're going to JSP, you're trading in real money and you got casino chips. You could also play your cards right and earn casino chips from the game. So we have to go to JSP to do that. Why not have it in the game? The other down the other downside to not having the real money auction house in the actual game UI is that people spend real money you know uh, people spend real money buying materials and gold and things like that from Chinese websites. So we're still paying gold. We're still using real money. We're still doing things, but it's on a third party, third party site. I don't specifically do, do those things, but a lot of players do. So let's say you have, you know, let's say you have 15,000 players that trade in real money, you know, on Chinese websites, or you have, let's say, even 50,000 people on JSP, I don't know what their numbers actually are, but that's already skewing the in-game economy. On top of skewing the in-game economy, it actually makes it unfair for people who aren't on those websites, who aren't doing the trading on third-party websites. Whereas if you had an auction house in the actual game itself, it would actually be more fair because everyone would have access to it and everyone could see what's going on with the economy. As of right now, you have Chinese websites and JSP affecting the economy and the currencies of Diablo 4, the main game. And let's say, you know, there's there's, you know, 100,000 players or whatever, and they don't actually know what's going on. They're just in this grinder, right? And these third party websites are controlling the economy or manipulating the economy. They're external forces on the economy, right? So they, they do, they, there is an argument for that. On the other hand, having the real money auction house in the actual game UI changes the entire way you play the game. Because although you can trade on third party websites, it's not right there in front of you instantly. You still have to make an effort. It still takes time to go do. When the real money auction house was right there and it was instant in D3, you spent half your time playing the real money auction house, basically bidding. It's kind of like eBay. It was like if you were bidding on stuff in eBay, right? It, 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 uh, you would spend at least 25, 30% of your gameplay 
looking for for items on the auction house upgrading trading you know it, it it definitely interrupts the flow of gameplay so we have to think about that too it's kind of one of those scenarios where there is no perfect solution to any of it you can't ban trading altogether. We, we had that in d3 it was awful if you have trading like you do now you're going to have issues with third-party trading sites capitalism is always like that you can't ban drugs you can't ban guns you can't ban whatever it is you want to get you could pay money and get it's the same thing in video games economics transfers to all walks of life it doesn't matter what it is it has an economy your office building has an economy okay diablo 4 has an economy there, there's no way around it so those are just two things to think about before we start asking for a real money auction house you have to weigh the pros and cons and to me it seems like there's a there's a big man i wouldn't say minority but let's say 25 percent 25 30 even 30 25 percent of the player base is asking for the real money auction house the other 70 percent still don't want the real money auction house so we shouldn't have the auction house and the that's two sides of the coin i just wanted to play devil's advocate and kind of give both sides of the equation we're going to take a look at this article that was written here and uh see what's going on with that because according to this article fans are asking for the real money auction house and this is what caught my attention so we're going to go ahead and see what this article says about it and i'm giving my perspective from someone who studied economics so i'm giving a pure economic assessment of it because economics like i said translates to all walks of life including you know video games obviously so let's go take a look and see see what we got going on here we're on uh we're on screen rant uh you know and they, they post clickbait stuff all the time that's nothing new you know we have elias here so let's see one feature is becoming highly requested for the popular arpg diablo 4 but its addition would likely destroy the game diablo 4 has already had its fair share of trouble since launch eh, a promising campaign experience core and core gameplay were ruined by three lackluster seasons nearly killed the title see all of this is sensationalism it, nothing's gonna kill diablo the, the diablo player base is huge despite all of the online rhetoric i mean we're we're talking about hundreds of thousands of players i mean this franchise i think last year made almost a billion dollars i mean D people still play diablo 2 i mean D diablo isn't going anywhere all right so this was coupled with grinding mechanics that were more punishing than rewarding true especially for a casual audience true season four was a step in the right direction for arpg blizzard imp implemented tons of crafting and farming changes correct making it easier for players to complete builds while shaking up you know which diablo 4, 4 class is the best even with these changes the grind for gear took effort often seen in this genre of course but remove the possibility of never finding that perfect piece. Regardless, the game is still in a shaky state. Shaky state. I, I would say Diablo 4 is in a perfectly solid state. They are gearing up for, you know, the expansion to launch. I would say that it's not shaky at all. This season is going over very well. Loot Reborn is pretty fantastic. They're making minor tweaks here and there. But there's nothing shaky about it and yeah they need to get rid of all these summon all these materials all these material currency is like drowning us in a swimming pool but i wouldn't call it shaky likely need to rely on its dlc not true i mean i think someone looked up the player count i think it was osmongold someone looked up the player count not too long ago on all platforms and it was like 180,000 players you know and it wasn't loot reborn didn't even release yet the upcoming for longevity true you do need new content you know at least annually or biannually highly requested diablo 4 auction house would destroy core gameplay loop i don't know about destroy it would change it drastically it wouldn't really you know destroy a laughable challenge in inflated economy that part is true auction house 
play it. How did they word this? Auction house for players to safely trade items in game has become a popular request among the community. Uh, how, 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 what percentage do you guys think of the, the player base is requesting this though? Adding one would be the worst possible option. So this comes from a good place of cutting out sketchy, like what I was talking about. Yeah, you cut, you cut out sketchy third party websites because people are going to trade it anyway. The impact it would have on Diablo 4 would be immense. Players could essentially skip the entire grind for gear and buy them off players who put in the time in the game. See, that that's a little bit not that's kind of not true because you would still grind for the weapons to sell yourself. So it doesn't it doesn't stop you from having to grind. It basically it changes the way you grind and the way your time is divided. So you will put put a higher emphasis on trading and buying and selling than you would grinding. So it would kind of break up the grinding a little bit and you would have, you know, a more more even distribution of your time playing the game. But it would take you out of the game and it would cut a percentage of your grind. So let's say you normally you would grind for, let's say, I don't know, average person, let's just say five hours a week, you got the weekend off, whatever, wife and kids, they go get their nails done, whatever, you, okay, you got five hours, regular person, and you have a real money auction house in Diablo 4, let's say you have an hour and a half, you spend an hour and a half trading instead of five hours grinding, it does cut your grind time down, or you spend two hours buying, selling, and trading, and only three hours grinding, so it does eliminate a portion of the grinding for a less compelling gameplay loop. So this completely breaks the core gameplay. I don't know, It does, like I said, it doesn't break the loop. It just redistributes how you spend your time. Many in-game activities, which are home to the best farming methods of Diablo 4, would have a small player count since many wouldn't need to do them. Uh, I don't know about that. Making money is a uh, powerful motivator. And if you could do a bunch of durial runs and uh, you know make $50 a week off selling you know, the items from Durial drops or materials, people are still going to do that. The people who aren't going to do that, like I said, are people who don't have the time to do that anyway. So they might have like a 30, 70 split on their uh, gameplay loop. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think it would, uh, I don't think it would have a small player count. The only grind in the game for players who don't want the ultimate challenge would be leveling. Another argument brought up is how the auction house would cheapen hardcore runs, limiting much of the risk by giving players perfect builds far too early. For this, I don't have too much of an opinion on. I've never played hardcore Diablo. I've been playing Diablo for 20 years. I I've never been that interested in the hardcore mode because I like pushing myself. I like dying. I don't want to have to start over, especially in Diablo 4. The grind is not very fun, let's be honest. So no, I, I've never done the hardcore. So let's see, an argument brought up, auction house would cheapen hardcore runs, eliminating much of the risk. You know, I, I see, I don't know about that either because the, the hardcore items would cost more and they would be more rare. So if a regular item, you know, this happens on JSP and, and uh, external websites, but you know, I don't know. Let's say you got Tia Bolt's will. Um, I don't I don't even know what the meta is anymore. Let's just say, you know, you had an Azerith, whatever it is. You have that unique on, you know, regular, the eternal realm. And let's say it's a dollar fifty. If you want that same item on the hardcore, the hardcore server, it's probably gonna be like five dollars. So the money scaling would be a lot lot tougher too. In other words, it would it would it would it still wouldn't be easy because everything would cost more on the hardcore server. So you'd have to specifically have a good bit of uh, you know disposable income to do that. So I, I you know that's iffy on that one. The other reason auction house would fail is due to the inflated economy of Diablo 4. True, inflation is would be a problem, and the inflation is coming from third-party sites right now. Since the game launched and been flooded with fake accounts farming gold to give away, see what I'm saying? This would make the auction house prices either pointless due to the amount of gold available or ridiculously high. So players are forced to buy gold. 
The only way to counteract this would be implementing systems without gold that cannot be manipulated. Um, true, true. You could have a, uh, a secured currency outside the realms of gold, but then that's breaking the gameplay loop where you need gold. But right now, gold prices are really inflated, and that's because of third-party websites. So that, that part, that's already happening because of the Chinese, you know, gold farmers. How an auction house could work in Diablo 4. So they're doing that too. Though it would still be a process to skip much of the game, there are some ways an auction house could be implemented to minimize the impact. The first way would be able to take a page from Warframe's trading system. Warframe has a marketplace system that lets players auction pieces, but this can only be done with the game's premium currency. Though some would worry this will make the game pay to win, it is instead an avenue to give free-to-play players a chance to earn premium currency while balancing the market. Uh, that is basically what JSP does. Like I said before, you basically you're you're earning casino chips instead of actual money. So that I actually I like this idea. This idea isn't too bad. You know, you trade items and you get the in-game premium currency through trading items without it being attached to real money whatsoever. That's uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. They could do that with the 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 shop too. They could do that with the shop and and let you use some of that to you know buy stuff in the shop. But then that takes out their financial incentive to have the shop. Economics is complicated. They'd have to find a way to have the premium currency, be able to auction things, still have the the microtransaction shop to fund the game. And make it all work with gold without screwing the entire gameplay loop up. Kind of tough. Kind of tough, honestly. Another option, though, much more complicated, would be only allowing auctions to be item for item, coupled with the rating system that would approve them. Essentially, this system would grade an item based on its rare. Yeah, we're out of that. we're out on that. That this would this would be miserable. No one would do it. So we're out on that one. Overall, it would be extremely hard to create a balanced and fair auction house for an ARPG. Correct. This is why, you know, this is going to get into the real life. This is why economics is so hard. Economics is so hard because one little thing you do has a has a gigantic ripple effect, right? It's the butterfly effect. Any little thing you do uh, ripples throughout the entire you know, economy, raising the minimum wage in a city ripples through the whole country, putting a price floor on things, putting a price ceiling, coming up with a, with a, with a certain program, you know, or a housing program, anything you do involving money in a society and an economy has a gigantic ripple effect that, that reverberates throughout the entire economy. Granted, Diablo four is, a, is simpler. But you can see, even with a small game economy like Diablo 4, economics is still very, very complicated and it's very hard to get right. It, it's very hard to get that kind of stuff right. So they have two choices. They can either leave things as they, as they are or spend time and develop an auction house around in-game premium currency that has no ties to real money. The only problem with that is you can still trade on JSP and Chinese uh, websites, third-party sites. So they would need to make the auction house items account bound. Once you, you see what I'm saying? Once you traded them, I'd have to write it down on paper how they could get that to work. So they can leave things as it is. They could try to come up with a system to eliminate these third party websites, which that might not even work. The third party websites might not go away anyway, regardless what they do. They could um, try to enforce bans on real money trading, which is extremely hard to do and, and costs a lot of resources, costs a lot of money to do. 
So, you know, I'm not really too sure what the conclusion is. For me, I would just leave things alone right now. I, I wouldn't try to implement any kind of weird currency thing until we at least have the expansion, right? Let the expansion come out. Let's see how the economy does with that. And then we can look at, hey, what should we do in the future? Putting out some kind of auction, some kind of auction house right now would be a huge mistake. Even if it was like, you know, Star Wars, the old, old Republic, where you could just put stuff up for auction for in-game gold, you know, or other games where you can auction for in-game gold. I still don't know if they should do put that in there yet. I don't think they should change anything with the economy right now until the itemization is right, until the expansion releases and there are no bugs in the ex expansion. Maybe after season six, the first season of the expansion, maybe then they could look at adding that stuff. But I think there are a lot more other, there are a lot of other things that they could prioritize first. I, we could probably all agree on that. Those are my thoughts on the real money auction house. There's two sides to every coin. Remember that economics are extremely complicated. And to get to get the real money auction house to work would take a lot of effort, time, development and resources that I don't think we should put that in there right now. I think we should let the game evolve and have the expansion come out bug free. Those are my thoughts. This is the video. Like, subscribe. Thanks.